Hello, this is Lachimi Kantiwari. Today we are going to learn STM32 F7 programming using a KL Microvision. STM F STM32 F7 uh, have a Cortex M7 microcontroller, a most recent microcontroller released by the ARM. Uh, here you can see it has a micro SD card, audio no ports compatible to the audio no UNO here the quad SPI flash and uh, it is the SRAM and here itself it is a Cortex M7 microcontroller and uh, line connectors here and the audio input and the output jacks and uh, there are also the two microphones here and this is LCD 4.3 inch LCD TFT touch screen so uh, we will program it using the Kale Microvision. Uh, if you don't have Kale Microvision, you can download it from here, the kale.com. So you need to download here the Kale MTK ARM. Uh, it will take a little bit time. Wait here, and uh, you fill your uh, details here. Then click on the submit. Then it will uh, lead you to link where you can download a Kale Microvision, and then install it. And then you can continue to watch this video tutorial. So I have already installed the KL Microvision on my computer. So let me open it first. Just wait it. It is opening here. KL Microvision 5. When it will open a first time, it may open a default project here at me or it may go a blank here. And also it may prompt you to download some additional files. So that is the pack installer. Okay it will open pack installer by default uh, very first time so you need to first uh, uh, refresh it you can refresh from here or go into the file and the refresh it and then it will enlist all the available devices which supports the KL microvision so uh, click on the boards and uh, then go to the ST microelectronics STM32 F7 board so it is the F0 board and uh, STM32 F7 let me find it uh, F7 no it is SN yes here so it is the STM32 F7 board and then uh, you will have so uh, you will have uh, STM32 F7 uh, DFP package here and then uh, update it and uh, download it okay uh, in the first time when you open your KL microvision it asks you to install it and also install uh, some supported files okay and if you already have just update it if it asks to you fine after installation and the updation every files here then then uh, come to the project and uh, open a project okay so open a project uh, you can come to the uh, local C drive in the root directory kale microvision 5 into the arm in the pack folder there is a kale folder and here you will find all the uh, examples uh, which are already installed on your kale root directory so we are looking for the stm32 f7 board just uh, go on come to this point okay this is the project all the example projects are enlisted here and this is the Cortex microcontroller software interface standard and here uh, some documentations are there okay it won't open here because of that we are looking for only these files and there are some drivers and the flash MDK files and the middleware supported files and some utilities so just open a project here and then the STM32 746G um, discovery and come to the example and here you can see the ADC board support package DAC, DMA, uh, I2C, power, SPI, timers, UART everything is enlisted here so open a ADC so in the ADC channel ADC folder there is only one examples are there so this is the ADC regular conversion using a DMA direct memory access it means so open MDK arm there you can find it is a microvision pipe compliance project.uvpro.jx file open it so it will open into the read only mode that's mean you cannot modify any instructions or any lines of code here just click on ok 
uh, we will see later how to modify these codes okay so just uh, uh, try to understand the basic uh, file systems and uh, other things uh, regarding to stm32 f7 board so uh, this is the known as the project uh, project uh, uh, project window and this one is the editor and these are the menu bar okay so uh, this folder have all the drivers supported to the bsp discovery board and uh, here it has the startup files and here it has a doc file uh, the doc file explains what uh, these examples will do fine you can read these file these uh, uh, descriptions you will uh, find uh, very comfortable to uh, understand this code and here it is a hardware abstraction layer uh, here it is a hardware abstraction layer drivers fine the rcc uh, core clock reset and uh, core clock here you are tdc a uh, cortex related uh, files and rcc extended files i2c adc everything are enlisted here and in the driver there is only one uh, system stm32 f7 files and into the examples you can find the main file here okay in the main files uh, code is written for actual code the main main c program is written here so it includes the first of all that the main dot h so the main header files are here uh, which includes all necessary header files and the definition files so it includes the two necessary header files stm32 f7 hall and the discovery header files and also it has a, a related uh, definition file uh, related to the adc and the dma and uh, so let's come back to the uh, main.c file here and uh, here you can see the adc handle type definitions the adc handle uh, before uh, uh, try to understanding all these codes first uh, uh, let me explain you some basics about the adc of the stm32 f7 board uh, it has a three adc on board uh, in fact uh, on chip so all three adc can be run into the parallel adc1 adc2 and the adc3 and uh, there are 19 channel ADC and uh, only 16 channels available to the user and uh, two channels are internally connected with the, some peripherals and also ADC clock uh, uh, can be controlled using the pre-scalers uh, it has a 12 bit ADC channels and uh, there are a total 16 channels which are available to the users on the chip but on the board there are only the six channels available to the user and also it supports the continuous mode and the discrete mode dma uh, supports and uh, also the 8 bit uh, 8 bit resolutions the 10 bit resolutions and also you know um, uh, it this it has a successive approximation type of the adc so as you know the successive approximation type of adc takes uh, one clock cycle per bit so it has a maximum resolution is this 12 bit so it will take at least the 12 uh, uh, 12 clock cycles uh, to convert uh, into the 12 bit resolution mode and uh, there are three uh, clock cycle into the conversion so it will take a minimum uh, 15 clock cycle to convert a 12 bit adc channels this is the adc handle type definition it is a structure and uh, now we are defining a new uh, type of the parameters that is the ADC handle and uh, ADC handle will contains all the information regarding to ADC such as the channel sorry uh, such as the bit resolutions uh, scan mode discrete and the continuous modes and uh, this is the just a 16 bit uh, uh, variables which will hold the ADC converted value and the system core clock configuration which will configure the core clock of the stm32 f7 board and it is the error handle uh, user functions which will handle the error if error occurs during the program uh, execution of the program and uh, memory protection unit configurations and the cpu case is also enabled there so let's come to the main program so now the one uh, one here you know the this structure will configure the adc and this structure will configure the adc channels and uh, it will configure the memory protection unit and this one will configure the cache unit hall initialization 
will initialize the every necessary peripherals on board on chip which are required to uh, initialize the ADC and the boards and the system core clock configurations uh, here these are the private functions prototypes and these are actually we are calling the functions 